Hello, this is Galen Martling. Today, I'm sharing Unity Stamp Company stamps, and I'm going to make a group of tags. I'm going to show how easy it is to make tags all at one time, especially if you're making similar ones for the holidays when you don't have much time. So I like to make them in sets, and I like to do different sections of them at the same time. So for the stamping, I'm using the sentiment kit by Unity called Cheerful Prancing, and it includes these two beautiful deer and some pretty sentiments to go with it. It's one of the favorite go-tos of mine for the holidays. I love this deer. It's so elegant. So now I'm stamping using the original Misty, and I'm stamping with my favorite things, ink. I use Craft for the deer, and I use Extreme Black for the sentiments. And so I stamp all of the stamping at once. I like to do the stamping first in groups if I can. And then I use a paper trimmer or die cuts or dies to trim out the sentiments. And then I, for this particular project, I use dies for the deer, but it is a rectangle. So you can also just trim it out with your paper trimmer in a rectangle without any dies at all. So no dies are required, dies are not required for this particular project. I just happen to have a rectangle that fit this deer, so I used it. I'm using My Creative Time dies. These are cute card dies, and it fits perfectly for the layers that I wanted for these cards. Also from Unity, I'm using Cozy Christmas. It's a six by six paper pack. It's beautiful, it has these rich colors of holiday colors and patterns, and so I use those. I use four sheets of that just to layer behind the deer. Any papers will do. You can make your own handmade backgrounds, but in, you know, for the holidays, for quick projects, pattern paper is great for this pur purpose. So now I go ahead and use a crop dial to hole punch each of those tags together, or at least have the pole, hole punch, hole punches lined up where I want them before I add adhere, adhesive. So these are ready to go here. Um, so I'm going to add foam adhesive to the top layer. And I'm going to do that for each of the deer. And then that will get peeled off and, and then this whole panel will get lined up with the hole punch on the, the background there just to make sure it's all lined up and so that the twine can go through. I just line it up at the hole punch there and then adhere all four of these together. And so this is a a little bit of a larger size tag, but sometimes you do need those uh, for different packages. And also they're good for wine tags and you can add them to cards. I like to do tag cards sometimes. So that's, um, tags are used for so many, so many things and they're so pretty to do and it doesn't take a long time to do them. So I add some cording. I had some craft color cording or some tan color hemp cord, I think it is. And then I just add that to the tops. I had also some brass color brads and I wanted to add a little embellishment, not too much, just a simple embellishment there where the hole punch is. And I added the brad, put, put it through there and um, just fastened it in the back side of, the, of each tag. And then I go ahead and add the sentiments. I use foam tape for the sentiments as well. These are all in the same stamp kit. So I'm using one stamp kit. I did four quick tags for the holidays for gift giving, and they're really pretty. You can go as, you know, you can go fancy if you want and heat emboss these. I just stamped, trimmed, and I was done. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe. Have a great day.